Picture. Sisters and brothers. This is like a quick side note. Because I can't, for some reason, I haven't been making videos. Now all of a sudden I want to make all the videos right now. So, but I wanted to just say that. Okay, recently I've changed the channel. Um, I changed the name of the channel to How to Be a Super Shiro Women or Hero Menses. So, now, of course, I'm going to be explaining how to do all that. But I wanted to say it's probably not going to be what you think. Now, that being said, I just want to give you a little background. Now, my the concept for this um, academy, for the Shiro Hero Academy, or the Super Shiro Hero Academy, SHA, Super Shiro Hero Academy, um, started out from me reading Marvel Comics, okay? And a lot of my ideas, even maybe even some of parts of my personality, like I'm, I'm part Black Panther because I do martial arts and I'm Black Power and all that type of stuff, and I'm part um, Professor X because I'm, I'm really, really brainy and, and I'm going to start a superhero school. And I'm part um, Doctor Strange because I'm into some other stuff. It's, you know, so like even my personality, I, I can see that in Marvel Comics. But, you know, what I wanted to talk about was the comics like myth. Like, we hear about these myths. We don't know if they was real. We don't know if the myth of Usar and Haru and... Well, actually, that's a bad example because they found the sarcophagus of Usar. They found, they're finding our people. A myth is the story of Jaisasta. See, they haven't found nothing. Zip, zero, nada. Zero, nothing, no, from nothing, from none of that. But... The myth of the comic book started with, with a C, you understand, the myth from the comic books, the, the comics. And then when the movies came out, I was an adult, so I was like, really, like, wow, yeah, I finally can see it. the comics come to life. So the myth of the Jaiza story, you know, can help children. The myth of Santa Claus, I don't know how that Caucasian coming down a chimney that you don't have. But anyway, myths can help, can be the seed for things that you do as an adult. But, once you grow up, the myth, maybe not totally, but you have to realize comic books from real life. Okay, so I'm saying I'm going to be, I'm going to make heroes, and I'm not talking about sandwiches. Well, I am kind of hungry. But I'm talking about real-life superheroes, you understand? So I don't say stuff that I can't back up, but it's a lot of information. That's what I'm saying. See... Um, you're probably not going to get some radioactive gook fall off a truck on you and you're going to become a superhero. You're probably not going to get bitten by a radioactive spider. Somebody's probably not going to blow your heart up and you put a big machine in there to, that'll hook you up to other machines. We probably don't have the money for that anyway. You know what I'm saying? So... Okay, comic books aside. Now, what do we get from the comic books? What is the reality of the mask? What is the reality of the mask? 
Oh, you think it's just to hide the identity. No, it goes a lot deeper than that. That's what I'm saying. Superheroism, which I will be teaching, and, and or I will be one of the instructors. I, I will be in, or they will be introducing themselves, the other instructors. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so I just wanted to talk about, you know. So I started out in comic books. You can start out with myths. You might start out with the Jesus story. Now, Jesus' story is the story of a super being. What else would you call him? You know, I touch you and you heal. I'm walking on water. Making water into wine. Hey, I like that one. I want that power. Can bring me more gallons of water. It's free. I'll make wine. Give me, give me, give me more. So that's a cool one. But anyway, you know, wouldn't you call that super? And then you see the dude floating off into space. You'd be like, that's super. That's a super being, wouldn't you? Or maybe you might say that's magic. Well, the Bible talks against magic. Wait a minute. Didn't three guys that they call magi follow a star, stars don't move, that landed over where the baby Christ is born? And weren't they called magi or kings or wise men? So how later on in the same book they become astrologers and magicians and soothsayers. How did that happen? We found, we found what you call God. We followed a star to find this God. We came all the way from the east following a star in the east. So we was in the east and followed a star in the east that showed us where this baby is at and then y'all turn around and call us soothsayers and make astrology seem like the devil worship it well well I didn't mean to go into all that I just wanted to say that myths like the beginning of imagination you know schools shul in Hebrew or Jewish abode of the dead takes away your your imagination, imagi, I, magi nation. You see, when we're children, we read comic books and stuff, and I'm imagining these things. And then, when I was a child, it started flowing over into reality. I started picturing myself and my brothers, who I had four brothers. Did I think about my sisters? I don't think I, back then we didn't think about women too much. I don't know, that's the way it was. But anyway, you know, and I used to see my me and my brothers as superheroes and blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, let's get our own land, and I know blah, 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 man. The only problem with imagination and creativity and all that good shit is that other people don't get it. So you're left with do-it-yourself. So if you have to do it yourself, depending on how large the project is that you want to do, you probably have to be super. You understand? You probably have to do all the job, you, you, you know, all the work, all the paperwork, all the mailing out, all the hiring people when you start making money, all the boom, 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 everything. You got to do everything at first if you're starting a business. If you just want to chill, you can still be a super person. Don't get sick. You understand? Be able to just heal people by being around them and other superpowers, you understand? I'm not necessarily talking about flying and all, but maybe I am, but I believe that will come later. So, I'm going to be revealing what it will take to become a super hero or hero. 
Now also let me explain that I could have named the page How to Be a Super Being because if you do the practices that I'm going to be talking about, you become a super being. So, so a super being can become a superhero. It, the difference is a super being don't necessarily consciously go out into the street and fight crime or, or you know, help people necessarily, like, you know, put on a uniform and a mask and all that type of stuff. They're just super. You understand? Do stuff super fast or, or think super fast or, or, you know, use super strength at work, whatever. So you can be a super being and don't have to be a superhero. But I am searching for people who want to be superheroes in the hood. Yeah, I say duh because I'm from the Bronx. Yes, and I know how to talk very, very properly too. But I'm from the Bronx. But anyway. So that's it. I just want to, you know, look into it. Look it. Look up myth and what it means to us as far as, um, you know, making up our imagination. Now, what I'm going to be talking about on this site is the reality of becoming super. Okay, you just don't become super. You just don't shoot rays out of your eyes. If I teach you how to do that, like right now, like you shoot. You, you draw in the energy, right? You'll burn out your whole brain and nervous system. And even if you got it into your body, when you shoot the lasers out your eyes, you'll burn your eyeballs out. So yes, there's more to being super than talk, 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 comic books and movies. Hype about these Panther powers to the people. That's what I'm talking about.